some of the friendships that I made, and we all made them during the war, were friendships that we'll never forget. You know, you meet friends in civilian life, and they're here today and they're gone tomorrow, they're gone to move someplace else. But some of the friendships we made in the service, you'll never hide them, you'll never forget them. Some 65 years after the end of World War II, former RCAF Flight Lieutenant William George Reeford talks candidly about his role as wireless air gunner in RAF Ferry Command. His own experiences of fighting in a world war. The training. The missions. The friendships the hardships. Anytime we lost anybody on the squadron, you, you couldn't help mentioning it because the, the boys in the squadron were like brothers, you know. You very close-knit, uh, particularly in the squadron like 168, uh, you were seeing them every day we lost quite a few aircraft. It was a, a close-knit thing, uh, the squadron. And you, uh, if one fella had troubles, the others sort of absorbed some of it too. I have no regrets. I didn't do anything that I'm really ashamed of. Did a few things I shouldn't have, but uh, none I'm really ashamed of. I, uh, I, I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't trade those four years, 11 months and seven days, I think it was, from the day I enlisted to the day I was discharged. I wouldn't trade them for any other four years of my life. This Remembrance Day, 2010, lest we forget those who fought for our freedom.